I'm Su Sing and I'm from Asia Center in Paris. So basically, uh, we're an independent research institution. We do consultancy for the French government, for European Union, and sometimes for corporations as well. Well, I was actually invited by FGI because I participated in some of the activities for Voices in Asia. So uh, I think it's an excellent opportunity to meet some of the business leaders here, uh, former government officials, and basically just personalities from a very diverse crowd. My name is David Stannard. Um, I'm uh, head of uh, corporate worldwide for Northern Rose, which is one of the world's largest law firms. We have a business across the whole of the world, and what's going on in Asia is incredibly important. I've been running Asia for the firm for a long time, and the way that Asia is moving and redefining its role in the global community is of critical importance to all our clients, and therefore to us in particular. Um, well, based on today's experience, I think uh, the greatest achievement of the forum is that you've managed to put a group of very eminent and uh, experienced uh, people in one room and uh, addressing some of the most pertinent issues uh, that the world and, of course, Asia is facing today. So just listening to these people articulate their thoughts uh, and having these very vibrant discussions among them and meeting basically the, the rest of the participants from a diverse field uh, has been a very good experience. Uh, my problem was I was looking at those the sessions and I want to hear too many of them. So, um, but I'm also an ex-regulator and so I'm particularly going to be looking at some of the uh, regulatory and financial implications, looking at what's happening in global regulation of the financial markets, uh, which is something I worked with Andrew Sheng at the SFC, so I have particular interest in that area, uh, which is critically important to all of us to make sure we don't get the world blown up again. Joseph Ferrigno. Well, Dr. Fung always has interesting ideas. I've known him for many years and I'm very interested what he has on his mind these days. Uh, my name is Chandra Naya. I'm the founder and CEO of the Global Institute for Tomorrow. Well, I'm here today because I'm really interested in the idea of uh, Asian global dialogue. And uh, I've known uh, the, you know, uh, Victor Fung and uh, the people who work for him, and so Andrew Shang. And so when he invited me to speak in Shenzhen on Saturday, I thought this would be a great opportunity to come and listen to some of the discussions we've had today, which has been very good. <laughs> I want to know what uh, Dr. Fung and others are thinking about the way the world is going, how, uh, how the big problems in, in Europe especially uh, may be solved and what, what kind of effect they will have on, uh, on Asia. Well, I'm hoping that uh, my big thing is more intellectual honesty. So I'm hoping to see more Asian uh, participants speak more openly. I think we saw a glimpse of that this afternoon. And I'm, like, I'm looking to also see if they get deep enough into the, the, what I think are the core fundamentals of where Asia is going. And that's what I hope to, to get out of it. Needless to say, meet some good people and uh, have some interesting conversations. Yes, I'm especially interested in uh, Paul Volcker's comments. He's the, uh, the only central banker in the last uh, few decades who uh, knew how to solve the problem of inflation while still dealing with the politicians. 